two three months you will get a minimum twenty thousand. And uh, any questions, guys? Any questions? Any doubts? So yesterday I gave you an assignment, right? So how many of you completed, guys? About process admin, security admin. So what is the assignment we discussed yesterday? Process admin, security mm. admin, error mm. admin. Mm. So what assignments I gave you related to this process admin? 
whether the process admin will kill this admin session okay. or not so what is the answer yes sir it will kill so have you tried practicing or is it simply okay google or you try practicing process. with the two logins process admin tried sir it will kill mm okay security security admin not right okay so it won't take much time right so tell me the security admin can delete the sys admin login or not yes sir it will kill the no delete the logins not kill the logins can a security admin delete the sys admin logins or not anyone tried guys anyone tried this one no one tried how many of you not yet started guys practicing and all how many of you not yet created vm not yet started practicing please raise your hands just want to check Okay, everyone started practicing. Then SQL Server installation. If SQL Server installation is done, whatever assignment I gave you yesterday, it will take just five minutes. Just five minutes will create two SQL logins. We'll add one login to Sys Admin. We'll add another login to the Security Admin. We'll connect with one login and we'll try to delete the other login. How much time? Not even five minutes. If it is for first time to create the logins and all, it might take five to ten minutes. that's okay no issues <clears throat> right in our last class we discussed about the security security part we we'll dis we discussed about the uh, server roles we discussed about the customized server roles we discussed about the database roles the customized database roles right uh, how to give permissions on a single table we discussed so most of the things we discussed from the security side uh, we have a small topic okay left from the security side that is called orphan users okay what if if logins are deleted what happened to that logins or what happened to that users how to find the orphan users how to fix the orphan users how many ways we can fix the orphan users so this part i will discuss during the migration concept so that uh, you will get better idea if we discuss this part in the migration concept okay why because will migrate the data and then the migration will migrate the complete server from old to new server okay from source to target server will migrate so by the time we have logins lot of orphan users will come so how to see the orphan users how to deal with it how to fix the orphan users and all we'll discuss during the migration concept okay so with that note security is completed guys right so after security we have an important topic called safety okay safety how can we maintain the safety of the data by using the backups and restores okay so we'll discuss today we'll discuss okay we'll start discussing uh, backups and if there is a chance we'll we'll discuss the restores also i'm expecting by night we can complete the restores backups and restores okay then we'll have automation topic so what guys do we have any issues in case uh, if we are able to connect on friday next weekend friday saturday sunday anyhow classes will be there friday i want to take extra class is that okay for you friday night only not morning friday night 24th evening same 7 to 9 or 9 30 is that fine for you guys Everyone? Everyone. Yeah, fine, sir. Everyone. I need a yes, because uh, everyone is important to me. So if everyone is okay, then we can we can connect on Friday also, Friday evening, seven to nine o'clock. Yes, sir. And if you have any questions, like any doubts, if you are unable to connect, please let me know then 
we'll discuss okay right so try to plan so that we'll complete automation by 24th automation won't take much time then we'll start upgradation and migration on 25th upgradation in the morning we'll discuss migration in the evening we'll discuss then on 26th we'll discuss active directory setup okay active directory creating active directory creating users and all on 26th we'll discuss active directory then again on second okay we'll we'll start discussing hdr concepts second we'll discuss log shipping third mirroring and replication and then ninth okay again ninth we have to discuss a replication one part another part of replication okay and uh, ninth evening we have to discuss windows clustering tenth morning sql clustering and tenth evening always on we'll discuss okay so with that note we still need one more week to complete the things i'll try to arrange one one more friday okay so that our goal is we have to complete it by 10th july so that you can apply the resumes as early as possible right again from july onwards calls will be there okay, it will increase calls and all will increase by july mid like by july 15th uh, or, or july 20th like that again calls will increase so if you are ready by july 10th then you can prepare your resume by july 15th and all and you can start okay applying for the jobs this is the plan guys right so any questions any doubts please let me know fine so we'll discuss about the backups and restores okay so actually in the sql server we have a lot of backup backups means you know and everyone knows the importance of the data right so you are using a smartphone you know what is the importance of the data you, you are going to take a lot of pics and all you are going to maintain a lot of data and all lot of messages lot of mails these are very important things if you feel that that is a very important thing that you should need in the future what you are going to do definitely you will take the backup right for the safety purpose you will take the backup right so in case if something went wrong in the future if something went wrong then you can use easily use that particular backups and all okay and you can restore the database you can restore the database so backups are very important guys so don't know the, the organization don't know next minute what will happen so we should be very cautious and we have to save each and every record it's our primary responsibility safety and security is the primary responsibility of the dba so we have to maintain each and every record okay so for that uh, we will have backup strategy okay we will have backup strategy in the organization so we'll take the backups we'll save the backups whenever there is a need we'll restore the backups at all okay not only for crash situations not only for crash situations as discussed last time during the uh, during my during our first class okay so in case if someone is looking for data you cannot practice you cannot test logics and all on production servers so you have to test your logics on the real time data means you cannot practice on the production servers so what we'll do we'll take the backup of production servers and we'll restore it to the non prod servers so that developers can test their logics and all okay that means we have to regularly will do this activity what is that database refresh activity what is this database refresh activity we'll take the backup of the production database and we'll restore it into the non prod servers so that developers can easily test their logic on test servers and all okay so this is a very regular activity so during this process also we'll take the backup of the database and we'll restore the databases into the non prod servers so uh, not only for crash situations um, backups and restores are regular activities day to day activities in the organization guys so you should know how to take the backup of a database okay what is the backup strategy this is the important and guaranteed question what is your organization backup strategy okay and how you are going to restore the databases and also we'll discuss guys right so we have multiple types almost all 10 to 11 types of backups are there but in the sql server Sorry. we don't yes please yes, any questions guys no questions please be please be mute guys please be mute
right okay so, so we I have, have we haven't started basha Uh, we have eleven types of backups almost. Okay, we have eleven types of backups. We have eleven types of backups, and uh, mostly we'll use four, hardly four or five types. Okay, we will use hardly four or five types of backups regularly in the organization. So let me tell you all the eleven types of backups. We have full backup, differential backup, log backup. copy only backup file and file group backup file log backup okay file log backup mirror backup stripe backup partial backup partial differential backup and finally we have cold backups cold backups okay so we'll discuss i'll give you the document with all these backups guys it's very simple very very simple uh, if you know <coughs> about this four or five backups okay regularly in the organization we'll use regularly we'll use these backups rarely will use this backup remaining backups we don't use okay but i i'll give you the document in the document it will be clearly mentioned uh, some of the backups you can take using gui of course query will be there for every activity <coughs> some backups you can you can take only by using the queries there is no gui option for the other backups okay but we don't use these backups and all so this is cold backups uh you can treat this as a hard backups in a hard backups we have 10 types but don't explain hard backups and all don't use that word hard backups again they will ask you a lot of questions yes technically there is no word called hard backups it's it's a logical word that's it so we have these 11 types of backups mostly people will ask you full backup differential backup log backup and copy only backup okay fine sometimes if the database crashes we'll use tail log backup okay so the cold backups means hard backups means the backup that you can take if the database is in online okay so these backups will work only if the database is online then only you can take the backup these backups and all but cold backups is a backup that you have to keep the database offline and you have to take it okay for cold backups you have to take the or the database will be in offline for offline databases mostly will use cold backups okay there is an exception i'll tell you but cold backups is a concept where we'll directly physically copy the files data files and log files will copy to different location that is called cold backup okay i'll explain no issues so let's start with full backup guys we'll discuss all this four backups and we'll discuss tail log backup also okay so what is this full backup as the name saying the name is saying itself that full backup full database backup full backup means full database backup okay so it will take the backup of the whole database guys full database backup means it will take the backup of whole database whole database means what files it will take the backup what files it will take the backup guys all files all files MDF all files content. means right mdf it will take the backup okay. of data, data files. file log file very good yeah data files and log files data files might be mdf files data files might be ndf files right and log files of course so full backup will take the backup of the whole database whole database means it will take the backup of all the data files and the log file it will take the backup of all the data files and log file full backup is very important guys full backup is mandatory for any other backups directly if i want to take differential backup it won't work why because full backup should be there at least you have to take full backup at least once once you create a new database without taking full backup i cannot take other backups it won't allow me there is no full backup set like that you will get an error so ma mandatory backup this is once you took the full backup i mean like uh, uh, you have to take the full backup it's it's mandatory on any database 
and if you change the settings and all sometimes some settings if you change to apply those settings and all you have to take the full backup also okay it's a kind of a restart don't think restarting the database and all no to apply some changes sometimes you have to take full backup okay so full backup is very important and it will be in huge in size guys if the database is big the full backup file will be huge in size why because it will take the backup of whole database right so full backups are always will be in huge in size and uh, it will take time to complete the full backup and again it depends upon the size there is a difference taking a backup of 1 gb database and there is a difference of taking a backup of 100 gb database and there is a difference in taking the backup of 1000 gb database and 2000 gb database right so if the database size increases then the file size will increase the backup file size will increase parallelly the time to take full backup also will increase guys okay so full backup you have to remember one thing that it will take the backup of all the files including data files and log file and it will be in huge in size because of the database size and it will take time to complete the full backup right how regularly we'll take the full backups in the organization is depends upon the project to project depends upon the company to company as it will take time to complete the full backups mostly we'll take full backups every week weekly once weekly once okay either on saturdays or or sundays night time backups are performance killers guys if you you cannot take full backup during the business hours it might impact if it is small database and all you can take it small database it won't take much time but if it is a 1 tb database 2 tb database if you started taking the data backup during the business hours definitely you will experience a performance issues so we don't encourage taking full backups during the business hours okay why because it will take lot of time to complete okay and that might impact the other processes so that's why usually 90 percent of people don't take the backups during the business hours okay and 70 percent backups will be uh, full backups will be uh, done on every weekend saturdays or sundays okay no need to take two days either saturdays or sundays weekly once they will take the full backup and either saturday night two o'clock sunday night two o'clock where there is very less traffic by the time there is they are going to be they means dbs are going to take the full backups guys right so here full backup i told you for for 70 percent of the projects will take the backups during weekends right for 30 percent of the projects will take full backup during every day okay every day night two o'clock if it is a critical databases if it is a uh, financial databases if it is a banking related databases if it is a sensitive databases will take the backups for every day guys every day night two o'clock night two o'clock means where there is a less traffic night two means less traffic will be there right so by the time if you take the if you initiate the full backup it won't impact the other processes and all okay so full backup is a backup which will help us to take the backup of the whole database including all the data files and log file it will be in huge in size and it will take time to complete if it is a big database uh, every week either weekends the backup strategy is depends upon the project sometimes people will take weekends saturday sundays at night 2 am or if it is a sensitive data important data and all people will take the full backup daily at night 2 am where there is a less traffic you can you can take the backup at any time no issues but you have to consider the other processes also okay so that's why two o'clock or three o'clock in the morning there is a less traffic so that's why usually we perform backups okay during night time fine guys about full backup yes any questions please sir yes, broad sir. server sir yes. broad server and non-broad server uh will install on same OS or different OS? No, 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 no. How come prod and non-prod server will, will, will keep it in the same OS? Tell me. See, non-prod servers, whenever you want, you can restart it. Prod servers, you cannot restart like that, right? So to restart the non-prod, again, are you going to restart the prod also? If, if there is a chance to restart the whole Windows machine, all the servers will be restarted. 
there are separate machines for fraud, separate machines for non-fraud. We don't keep fraud and non-fraud. That is not a standard practice. Sir, on one OS, there will be only one server, no, sir? That's your wish. I told you, right, we can keep 50 servers. That's your wish. Huh? Depends upon the and project, what? you can keep. Yes, please. Not, not like that, sir. That means mm -hmm. on one OS, how many versions of uh, SQL servers will be installed? You tell me. It's almost a third week. Now tell me how many versions of SQL we can install on one OS. Uh, that is 50 correct, sir. Mm. Yeah. That means versions, versions will be different. Yeah, you can see. You can install all 50 of same version or different versions, but maximum it will support 50. Either the same 50 related, all the 50 related to the 2019 or this 50 can contain uh, some of them are 2017, 2012, depends. Okay, but maximum it will support for 50 instances. No it matter which, which version it is. And yeah, no matter which version it is, maximum you can install 50 instances. Okay, thank you. Yeah, any other questions, guys? The, the full backup, any questions? Okay, so full backup is very easy, guys. Taking full backup is very easy. So, right click, uh, sorry not on the databases go to database which database you want to take the backup right click on the database tasks okay backup so i'll tell you a gui way and query way also and the backup type is full if you want different types of backups you can select this full backup you can select differential transaction log backup and all so you are taking backups means see for example now you are taking backup of your phone what you are going to do? You just connected your phone to the laptop. Now you want to take the backup of your phone. What you are going to do? To which location I want to take the backup? You will have an idea, right? To which location I have to take the backup? To which location I have to keep my photos or files, right? You will choose the location, right? To which location? So in the same way, to which location I want to take the backup? Where it is going to store? So here you can give the path. Okay, this is the default path, guys. C program files, Microsoft SQL Server, MS SQL. 14.msql server and msql folder backup and uh, if you if you want to see that file path physically okay you can see it okay see program files let me open right okay so in the C drive, usually by default, the backups will go to this location. By default, it will go to this location C drive. Program files. Let Microsoft SQL Server. It is taking this much time. Right, this is the folder instance root directory. Okay, then MSSQL. Then inside this MSSQL, we'll have multiple folders, guys. Okay, data folder and all we have already discussed about this path. In the data folder, you can see data files and log files of other databases. So the same way we we'll have a backup folder, right? This is the default location. Okay, for the backups, guys. This is the default location. By default, it will select this path. This backup folder, you will get it during the installation. We don't create any of these folders. All these folders you will get after the successful installation of the SQL Server. So to this location, generally, it will take the backup. This is the default path, the default location. You can say this is the default location. Okay automatically it will take the backup to this location guys now i want to change the path you can change it no issues you can remove the old path you can change you can just click on the add whatever location you want to give you can you can give okay i want to take the backups to d drive Hello, take the backup just click on this browse symbol and whatever drive you want to take the backups select the path okay and make sure you select the proper path and all okay and once you choose the proper look, you can see as of now I have two drives. One is C drive and second one is D drive. And this D drive is okay, is a not a fixed drive. 
it's just a ISO file drive okay so you cannot take backups to the D drive in our practice in the organization you will have DEF so for the backups especially for the backups we will have a separate drive in the organization they will keep all the data files in one drive they will keep all the log files in another drive they will keep all the backup files in a separate drive so that in case if the drive is full we can easily fix it if you keep all the files, all the data files, log files, tempered files and the backup files in only one drive, if anything is, is going to full, tempered generally it will be full if there are huge transactions are there. Backups, if you don't delete the old backups, it will be full. So the whole drive, drive itself is going to be full and there is no chance to expand for data files, log files. So all the databases will go to offline. That is the okay, problem if you keep all the files in a single drive. So we'll maintain separate drives for each component, like for data files, one drive, log files, one drive, company be one drive, backup files, one drive. So separate drives will be there. Which location you want to take the backup, choose that location. Okay, and you can simply select the path in my case. <coughs> I'm sorry. So in my case, I'm going to take the backups to the C drive. Okay, C drive. And if you want to change the path, you can change the path, but I'll, I'll take the backup to the default location C. Program Microsoft SQL Server, Instance Root Directory, MSSQL, and Backup. Okay. And here you have to give the file name, guys. File name, don't give different, different file names and all. Okay. Uh, just give a proper, okay, a proper and a professional name. What, what backup we are taking, guys? What database backup we are taking? Backup. Right. What database backup? What is the database name? Argeo. Ah, uh, Argeo. Okay. Right. Underscore. What type of backup it is? Full backup. Underscore. When you took the backup on nineteenth June. Okay. Nineteen zero six twenty twenty two. All the backup files usually. Okay, the extension of the backup files are .bak. For full backup, the extension is .bak. Okay, so just click OK. So this is how you have to give the name. See, you can give Ramesh, Suresh, Basha, or Samir. Any name you can give. There is no issue. Okay, there is no problem with the naming conventions and all. But you are not using this SQL Server for your personal purpose. Lot of other peoples are going to use. This is for application. This is not for you or your friend or your colleague. This is for the application. So you should maintain proper prof professionalism in keeping the names and all. Okay. So any name it will take. No issues. There is no naming conventions. Again, I'm saying any extension also you can give. It's not mandated that you have to give BAK only. You can give dot Katrina Kaif also. No issues. But the thing is, but the thing is, it should be a professional. Okay. The name, the extensions. Why? Because other people, they have to understand it. if they log into the server, if they see dot Katrina Kaif, what is this file? Is it a malicious file or uh, is it a virus file and all they will think. So that's why always give a proper professional name and proper extension, which is dot BAK. Okay. Just click OK and uh, that's it. Okay. So other options and all you can see media options here. Uh, you have to uh, listen carefully here. Uh, if you give the same name next time while taking the backup, if you give the same name, okay, if you give the same name, what it will do, if you give the same name next time, okay, this time if you click okay, it will, it will take the full backup. Why? Because this is for the first time, right? And you don't see any full backup files here in the backup location. This is completely empty. And the first time it will take the backup. Next time if you give the same name to the same path, is it going to take the... Uh, backup with the same name in the same location guys will it work date will be different no, we are giving date now again immediately I'll, I'll take the same backup i'll take the same name I'll, why because today is 19th june right i haven't included a date stamp so i'll take the another backup with same name so is it is it going to allow us take the backup with the same name in the same location or it will throw error the file already exists it will throw an error it will throw an error okay first let's take the full backup guys okay 
uh, that's it from media options we don't do anything keep it as it is and you have to know one option right backup options compression will be there uh, where is that yes compression compression is an excellent feature guys backup compression we we'll call it as a backup compression so generally backup compression will be on on the servers backup compression will be enabled so don't think compression means okay it will create lot of issues and all as it will com compress compress means you know the meaning it is going to compress it the backup file it will compress so compress means again while restoring to uncompress it will take lot of time it's not good option don't think in that way compress is an excellent feature by the uh, microsoft sql server we don't believe almost 90 percent storage you can save using compression option 90 percent is imagine if you don't enable the compression for 100 gb database you will get 100 gb backup file if you don't enable the compression backup compression for 100 gb database if you take the backup of 100 gb database you will get 100 gb backup file if you enable the backup compression for 100 gb database hardly okay the file will be 10 gb or 15 gb hardly hardly it will be 10 to 15 gb okay that means you are almost saving 80 to 85 percentage guys you are saving almost 80 to 85 percentage let's reconnect it is showing less than one minute let's reconnect 